Today's gonna be a hard day. Probably the hardest one yet. Welcome to the Harding Chemist. Watch out. Time for a little walk. What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. We'll be having a great day. Today is currently the 11th of May. It's a Tuesday and as of today, we are 26 days out from show. Every single day now, it's like Russian roulette. Like you don't know if you're gonna wake up feeling good, energized or like dragging your ass across the floor. And today is definitely one of those days. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed. And I know for a fact that today is definitely going to be one of the hardest days yet. I'm trying to make a habit of like coming outside and almost just like resetting my frame of mind. Cause when you wake up in the morning, you don't know how you're gonna wake up, whether you're gonna be motivated or unmotivated. So I like to come out for about 10, 15 minutes. So I get a head start on the day before cardio, before food. I'll come out, get some steps in and just like try and reset my head. Cause today was honestly the day, like I've been telling myself for like three days. Cause I haven't vlogged about a week. The last vlog that I did was the full day of eating, which was the refeed. After the refeed, something happened. Like the day before the refeed, I was 213.8 pound. I woke up this morning, 208. 0.6 pound meaning i've literally lost five pound in the past five or six days losing five pound in a week for anyone is going to take a serious toll on the body some days i'll wake up and i'll have a bit of energy and other days i will literally have none today being a day that is particularly harder than any day so far. I was trying to think of things I could do to give myself a bit more energy and motivation for the day. And always, when I vlog, I'm always having like a better day. So you guys are here for me now more than you know. And we've made it back to the house. <laughs> Okay, that's a nice 20 minute walk to start the day. I feel like the fact that we are less than four weeks out from the first show, now the regional qualifier, these are the days that I should pick up the camera because they are the days that are gonna be the hardest. When you are four weeks out from a show, and the pain begins and things start to really get hard because this whole week has absolutely sucked. But it shows because my physique has never ever looked like this and actually tomorrow we have been rewarded with a two day refeed considering the fact that I have lost five pound in the past week. Callum thought it'd be a nice tool to use to one, potentially slow some of the weight loss, two, give my body some energy considering the way the past week has been. Or it could have the same effect as the previous one did and I'll just drop a bunch more weight, which means we can actually feed up into the show bring a condition but also more fullness as well Kind of funny i feel like as prep has progressed my pain receptors have just like ceased to exist because i used to be quite hesitant to do my morning cocktail of supplements whether it be injectable alcarnitine a little bit of gh as well as like clen your himbine t3 t4 all that sort of stuff but i used to be quite hesitant to do the injections in the morning but now like i've realized i don't feel anything <laughs> I've started driving to the gyms in the morning now. One, to just get out of the house and like split the day up. And two, they have a Stairmaster at the gym and we only have a treadmill at the house. And I feel like I burned so many more calories doing the Stairmaster. And while I still have like a bit of energy left before prep gets like stupid real, and I literally like don't have enough energy to even get out of bed. If I can burn an extra 200 calories every single morning doing cardio, I should probably come to the gym having the privilege of being able to access a Stairmaster and to progress faster. It's harder. And after 45 minutes on the Stairmaster, I am definitely like cooked for the day. But I know that if I want to look the best I can on stage, then I need to do everything that I can physically do to make that happen. Oh my God. And we're done. I don't even like Diet Coke that much. But the fact that this is the first thing I've had all day and there's zero calories in it, I'll take it. Now we're gonna make some breakfast. Breakfast number one, the cookie is in the air fryer. This has honestly been like saving so many of my meals because like I don't even use the full like five calorie serving. I probably use like 2.5 calories. That's just like one tablespoon. And the five calories is two tablespoons. And I've been doing this thing recently where I make sure that I leave the yolk in the middle of the egg. So I like I eat around the egg, eat all the sweet chili sauce, and then for like the satiation at the end, I'll just like put the whole yolk on the fork and then just eat the yolk. And it's just like such a big burst of like fat and yolk and it's like 
I'm literally going insane. I started playing Xbox over the past like two or three days just because it's helping really pass the time. I've been playing a lot of Outbreak and it just like makes the time pass because of, uh, one game on Outbreak, you can be on it for like an hour and a half, two hours. When your egg excites you, you know you're on prep. And that is the sound of the air fryer. But I'm gonna take a bite of this first. Mm. That was extremely enjoyable. I actually recorded the bite, but the camera glitched and like deleted the clip. The previous refeed was 290 protein, 500 carb and 55 fat. But I think tomorrow it's gonna be more around 700 carbs. So I might actually be able to fit in fact, I know I definitely will be able to fit. I'm gonna get two different types of cereal. We just have today's peasant calories to get through first, which isn't that bad because we have the ProCard cookie. A little bit of Walden Farms on there, just a little bit. I feel like on days like this, it's really important to remember. I mean, as Chris Bum said, says he actually has a t-shirt that says this. Pressure is a privilege. Like it's a privilege that I get to feel this pain, that I get to do this, that I get to like go on this journey. Days like this, I find myself reminding myself that, you know, I'm, I'm actually really lucky to be able to do this. I'm just like eating this pro card cookie is a privilege. Now, considering it's getting harder and harder to recover like every single day right now, my DOMS have never lasted so long because my body is in such like a fragile state currently. Whenever I get like an injury or like I cut my face shaving or something, like it bleeds and it doesn't actually stop because my body is like failing to recover. The same with workouts. I trained legs yesterday and the amount of drop sets and supersets I did for a quad dominant day was absolutely unheard of. And today, like I'm honestly regretting it because at the moment with the bit of energy that I have left, I'm utilizing this to have some of the best workouts on prep with supplementation being increased to what is now at its peak i'm able to push a little bit more until the energy levels deplete even more and i am nothing but a fetus and my legs today like i swear they looked so much leaner two days ago because of how much inflammation is currently in my quads. Like my hamstrings are still lean, but my quads are swollen. One thing that is so, so helpful in breaking down inflammation, aid and recovery is a massage gun. This one is from Hydrogun. I've actually been using this now for the past two weeks and they've actually been kind enough to sponsor today's YouTube video. In terms of the caliber and the quality of this gun, it is absolutely ridiculous because I've actually used quite a lot of guns. My dad, two years ago, got me one for Christmas. I did some work last year with a hybrid therapist who actually used one of these guns as well. I was sent one by a company and it was just like a cheap one made in China. I was like, it's cheap, it's plastic, it wasn't powerful and the battery life didn't last at all. This thing on the other hand, opposed to every other massage guns I've ever used in my entire life, this is like the Bugatti Veyron of massage guns and everything else was basically a lawnmower because this is, it. honestly already you can see like some of the inflammation, the fluid has like gone away because this vascularity was not there before using this. Like it definitely has like, you know, helped some of the inflammation go away already ready on this side slowly as well and it looks so sleek it's like a nice matte finish it's very very heavy it's very weighty you got a bunch of levels on the back there are six different levels the charging port is on the bottom and you barely honestly ever have to charge this because the battery life is so long this is in my personal opinion the most trusted massage gun brand i know it's just a massage gun but it does help that it looks so sick at the same time and when you actually order the gun you get the gun itself of course they give you this sick briefcase with all of the attachments in it too this steel edged one definitely looks quite <laughs> quite dangerous. I'm not exactly sure where you'd want to put this one, but wherever you put it, it's definitely going to do the job. One of the things that impressed me as well, right here, there is a converter, so you can use it in any country that you order it from. Hydro going to do a year and a half guarantee, so if it breaks, you can send it back, and it is a 30 day or your money back. So if you use the hydrogen for 30 days and you don't like it, you can send it back and get a full refund. And if you do want to pick one of these up, you can use code Harding, my actual last name, Harding, and you can save 10% off at the checkout. The link is going to be the first link in the description. They've been kind enough to sponsor this video, which honestly helps so much with things like prep and everything because prep is quite expensive. First thing in the description, code Harding, 10% off. Those are all the guarantees. And honestly, this is something that is aiding me so much on this prep because like I said, recovery is a serious problem, but this is definitely helping helping me get back to where I need to be to hit my next leg day, which I think is in like two days. Do you think you could fill up some water in a shaker for me? Yeah, I would have done that. 
Thank you. Now that we've decreased some of the inflammation in my legs, we're gonna we're gonna try and gain some back. Currently gonna do about 25 minutes on this, which is gonna be about three to four thousand steps, helping get the step count in for the day. This morning it was pretty warm outside, but now it's gone back to being extremely windy and extremely cold. And if I want to hit the steps, I'm actually really lucky that we have this treadmill in the house. Although, yes, calories aren't super high right now, and this isn't maybe even necessarily necessary, especially after doing cardio. I just feel like it's better for my mind to be constantly moving, especially instead of just sat on my ass doing absolutely nothing. I'm gonna do these steps, make a pre-workout meal, and then head to the gym for a workout. Look at that bicep vein. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a girlfriend for prep, they said. It'll be great, they said. Well, whoever said that was right. <laughs> 100 grams of jasmine rice is done. We have 150 grams of zoodles. My first time actually using zoodles, but it's just like zucchini made in the shape of a noodle. 200 grams of chicken. Like I said, is gonna be the pre-workout for the day. Typically the cream of wheat is a pre-workout meal, but considering we're training a little bit later today, I'm like keeping up with the meals. The Vegeta is the best on the pan. We're also just gonna add a little bit of sauce on the top as well. I'll leave this in the car on the way to the gym. Sorry. And then we'll be uh, getting to work. I think today's a push workout, whether it's a chest or shoulder dominant workout, I'm not sure yet, but I know we are doing some sort of push. I decided on the way through sipping on the pre-workout and eating the pre-workout meal that today is going to be a chest dominant push day. Definitely triceps at the very end, but this is mainly going to be probably like a four to five exercise chest workout. I feel like it's important to like now and again, like prioritize a different muscle group because obviously, especially on leg days, like having a quad focus day and a hamstring focus day, but I still like to hit my hamstrings on my quad leg days. I'm honestly still tired from doing the steps because I literally did the steps, made the food, came to the gym and I got off the treadmill like half an hour ago and we're back. Fitness all day. I'm definitely feeling a little bit flat, but with flatness comes condition, and condition is what we need. Come on. Push. Lovely workout. I'm definitely struggling to get a pump more and more like as the days go on. I mean, vascularity wise, there's veins, but just like the fullness of the muscle, I can definitely see it in my arms that it is slowly fading away. But as of tomorrow, this shall not be the case. We will be carbed filled. I've been doing something recently that has almost made me feel like I'm cheating on my diet. So we're gonna take this outside right now and show you what I've been doing. If you have the privilege, it's a game changer. Geordie has a barbecue. So on the nighttime, I've got two meals that both contain zero carbs. It's just zucchini, chicken, some avocado, and the next meal is steak, asparagus, and more avocado. So really no carbs. So I'm thinking like, how can I make this as enjoyable as possible? Geordie's mom suggested we use this barbecue. So I've been grilling my zucchini and my chicken and it just makes everything just taste so much better. Oh, it doesn't stick. 
typically takes six minutes for the chicken, eight to 10 minutes for the zucchini. The barbecue is on full heat. It's on about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 420, and it cooks it to perfection. Got a bit of the seasoning still there. It's the little things on prep that make it a little bit more enjoyable. With my next meal, when you cook the patty of the extra lean, like 5% fat beef, feels like you're going to a restaurant and literally eating a barbecued beef burger. The juices stay inside the burger, which just makes it just so much more tasteful. Just gonna come inside while it cooks. It's absolutely freezing outside. And if I kept the barbecue open, the chicken would take longer to cook. The plan for the rest of tonight is I have a long awaited date with the Xbox. Usually between this meal and the next meal, I'll play for two hours because it just makes the night go faster. And weirdly so, I really wanna get to bed extra early and have my meals earlier than usual because tomorrow is the two day refeed, which honestly like, I don't know if you could see it, but like during the workout, things are starting to get like really, really hard. It's getting emotional, like it really is because obviously you're pushing your body to a, a place that one, it has never been before because although yes, I have prepped before, but this prep compared to the body power prep is different for so many reasons. Coach is completely different. My protocols I have to hit on a daily basis are so much different and more accurate in terms of a motivation standpoint. Like I cheated on my diet. Like I don't, I, I've spoken about it in previous vlogs, but like probably seven times. I remember being seven weeks out from body power and I was with the Alpha Elite guys and we were getting drunk, eating cheesecake and everything, ordering and pizza and sushi and I, I, I still won the show somehow. I, I felt like I didn't deserve it. And I wanna bring a package to the stage this time around. I mean, the first show is only a regional qualifier. I only have to step on the stage. If I win this first show, it's not a pro card. It's gonna enable me to go to the second show, which is the pro qualifier. If it's an amateur Olympia, top three, so I have to win my class and place top three in the overall in classic and I'll get a pro card. Not too sure which one's gonna be which yet, but some shows I have to win the entire show to get a pro card, but there are many pro shows and I'll compete as many times as I need to to get a pro. I will be leaving this season with a pro card, no matter how many shows I have to do, and if I don't get it, it will be because I wasn't ready and I didn't have enough muscle because I will be the most shredded on stage. I know I have it in me, I have the work ethic, I have the passion, I have the ability. I'm the leanest I've ever been in my entire life, just under four weeks until the first show, and I'm gonna push more, see what I'm truly capable of and hopefully in turn it can inspire you to do something with your life and to stay true to your ambitions and your goals and to you know step out of your comfort zone and do something and push past your own current boundaries to find new boundaries new limitations and just really see what you're capable of which is exactly what i'm trying to do with this prep so guys i'm sorry i haven't been vlogging as much recently this past week has been the hardest week it's ever been but i thought today um honestly like as soon as I picked up the camera, today was a better day. So thank you so much uh, for keeping me straight today and uh, making today a little bit easier. If you enjoyed this 26 days out of vlog, please smash the like button, turn on the post notifications. It's right next to the subscribe button because one, really helps the channel grow. Two, you'll never miss a future video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.